Hi, I'm Erica Mills. Welcome to Tune Up Tuesday. Tune Up Tuesday is about helping you use marketing to advance your mission. One of the biggest questions out there right now is how do you get your message to rise above the chatter in this information overload world that we live in? How do you come up with a response to the question, what does your organization do? Whether or not that's verbally or written in a grant proposal that is so compelling that somebody says, tell me more. We developed the nonprofit messaging roadmap to help us along this messaging journey. The first stop on that roadmap is at the belief proposition. You may have heard of or have mission, vision, value statements. Your organization might even have a unique selling proposition or have talked about your value proposition. The idea of a belief proposition might be new to you. What we know is that people engage and get involved with organizations when they believe in what you're doing and how you're doing it. So your belief proposition is the answer to the question, why does our organization exist? One example of an organization that has a really strong belief proposition was started in the late 1940s. And they believed that it was time to put behind us the prejudices of the past and consider the inner person. Put behind us the prejudices of the past and consider the inner person. Fast forward 28 years to when they created their tagline, a tagline that all of us know, which is a mind is a terrible thing to waste. So the United Negro College Fund has been guided for over the decades by their belief proposition. Your belief proposition is internal to the organization. It is part of your DNA. What is difficult about articulating a belief proposition is that it is about the essence of the organization. So another way to think about it is, what's the answer to the question, if your organization didn't exist, what would be different for your community? So what we know, what data supports, is that people make decisions initially about organizations that they want to engage with, with their hearts. But we tend to talk to people's heads. Now, eventually, will you want to provide information about the efficacy of your organization? Absolutely. But you have to first get people to see what you believe so that they can see if they also believe that. And then there are the ripple effects out across everything you do so that when you're crystal clear on what you believe, it makes it so much easier for people to engage with your organization. So that's why this week, I want you to write down answers to the two following questions. One, what would be different in your community if your organization didn't exist? And number two, why do you exist? These are two sides of a coin. They're related. And the reason I want you to write them down is because next week, we're going to answer a question that you probably think you have an answer to, but trust me, the answer to this question is very different from what you think it is. So I will see you next week.